When you walk into an office building, a school, or government facility, do you ever wonder how it got there? Do you look for the imperfections in the walls you pass in a renovated building? Are you unafraid of heights? Can you see the structure behind the wall in your mind's eyes? If you can, you might be the kind of person to consider drywall finishing as a trade. Drywall finishers, or tapers as they are sometimes known, prepare unfinished interior drywall panels for painting by taping and finishing joints and imperfections. A drywall finisher may work in the commercial or residential industry, either for a subcontractor or a general construction company. The perfect walls you pass by every day are the result of flawless joint work, invisible, perfectly sanded seams, and often the work of IUPAT drywall finishers. So exactly what does a drywall finisher do? A drywall finisher will apply joint compound into and along the side of the joint between two hung drywall panels and use a paper tape to cover the seams between panels, resulting in a uniform and almost perfect surface when finished. Additionally, as a drywall finisher, you would fill cracks, holes, and joints with plaster or other fillers, smooth surfaces using a vacuum sander, climb scaffolding and use drop cloths or tape, create decorative finishes, installing bead, wall and ceiling work, use automatic tools. You'll learn to use stilts and styles to reach ceilings and high walls. Finally, you'll remove dust from sanding and other plastering materials from a completed job site. What kind of knowledge do I need? The kind of knowledge required to perform this job well is as varied as the tools and techniques you will learn to use. You'll need to know the federal, state, and provincial regulations that govern your trade, and you'll undergo training, which will keep you and others safe in the job. Business and Management You'll need to learn project management if you hope to move up to foreman, superintendent, or project manager. Customer Service You may be dealing with clients on the job, and it always helps to be good at it. Communication is key, and it will be both written and verbal. Engineering and Technology the more you know, the faster you can progress in your expertise. What basic skills must you have? The basic skills needed to be a good drywall finisher are the same as those that make up a professional tradesperson. You'll need to be effective at Listening skills Listening to others, not interrupting, and asking the right questions. Problem solving Thinking about the pros and cons of different ways to solve a problem. A basic knowledge of math Making calculations and making precise measurements is crucial to the drywall finisher trade. Of course, the bulk of your job is going to be the handling of tape, drywall compound, sanding and smoothing tools and other materials, and to be an excellent drywall finisher, you will need to master them. Let's look at the physical abilities you'll need to make a good drywall finisher. Hand Dexterity can you use your fingers all day, every day, without interruption because of physical limitations like cramping or arthritis or some other limiting factor? Hand strength. If you have issues with your hand strength or working with hand tools, this may not be the job for you. Physical condition. You must have endurance. The job can be a tough one, especially if it's big and fast-paced. Being in good physical shape is a necessary part of being a good tradesman and drywall finisher. Excellent vision. You will need to apply tape and joint compound accurately and make precise visual judgments. Excellent hand-eye coordination. This cannot be stressed enough. You need to be able to work quickly and accurately. Flexibility. You'll need the ability to bend, stretch, twist, or reach with your body, arms, and or legs. No dust allergies. You'll be working in an environment full of dust. You can have no chest complaints or allergies related to dust. If you have any respiratory issues at all, this work will be an irritant. So as you can see, there's a lot more to being a drywall finisher than just taping and sanding joints. You'll learn to use a number of tools and use a number of techniques, many of which are quite physical and require attention to detail. What kind of personality fits the trade? You might ask yourself, what does personality have to do with being a drywall finisher? You'll need to exhibit suitable appearance and personal hygiene. You'll need to Display the proper attitude and behavior on job sites, including private residences and other occupied buildings. Deal with difficult customers in a professional and courteous manner. Interpret written and verbal instructions well and recognize the importance of cooperation and interaction with related occupations on the job site. 
Most of all, you'll need to be safety conscious and dependable to be considered a good drywall finisher. And like all the trades, you are part of a team, so teamwork is essential. Using computers is a fact of life in any job these days. The trades are no exception. You must be willing to learn new technology and techniques. It all boils down to being able to work well with others, communicate clearly, and be dependable. It takes more than just a keen eye and steady hand. It takes maturity and professionalism too. What education is needed? You might ask yourself, what kind of education do I need to be a drywall finisher? Your credentials will be nationally recognized in the industry and can open the door for you to get a job with a good company anywhere in the country. And the IUPAT can also assist you in furthering your education. Now, as you continue in your career after completing your apprenticeship and becoming a journey worker, you'll want to pursue additional training and certifications, and this will require some classroom time and on-the-job training. What is the job outlook? The outlook for the drywall finishing trade is a bright one, as we mentioned in the introduction. There are going to be many large construction and renovation projects initiated in the coming years, so you'll be busy. New job opportunities are very likely in the future. So just to recap, a drywall finisher is exposed to loud noises, dangers from nearby equipment, and a full day of physical labor. If you aren't 100% confident in your mental and physical ability to work in such a fast-paced, detail-oriented, and ever-changing environment, or your ability to be aware of the fall hazards associated with lifts and stilts, which are used when finishing ceilings and high walls, then you might want to reconsider your interest in drywall finishing. Are you right for this trade? Is this trade right for you? This is an important question and one you should consider carefully. If you are sure about this apprenticeship, then go ahead and explore your bold future today at the IUPAT.